Pleasure, good morning to everyone, to all the, the mothers and all the females of Safari West Secondary School. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, today, you know, we can't we can really meet face to face because of the, the COVID pandemic, you know. That, but I am grateful and thankful, we are all thankful that we can use this, this method to reach out to everyone. Um, I would like to start off by saying a prayer, a prayer for mothers. This is a prayer for all mothers, those who, those who want to be moms and for all the dear women who nurture and lead students at our Safari West Secondary School. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this opportunity to honor the mothers of this institution. We appreciate and are thankful for motherhood, the greatest profession in the world. Thank you for the numerous spiritual children you have given so many spiritual moms and mentors. We pray that you will fill this with favor and grace as you honor the moms at our school. We pray for your blessings on this virtual program we are having today. May it motivate all our mothers and inspire them to see their value and roles and functions as mothers. May they continue to be strengthened in faith, love, and perseverance. Grant that we honor and appreciate it, appreciate it not only on Mother's Day, but every day. We ask for comfort for those who are grieving loss and heartache, especially during this time. We ask for healing for those who have been hurt by relationships that were intended to be loving and nurturing. We ask for faith for those who will someday be moms to find themselves in a journey that seems so hard to give them strength. We ask for incredible provision and care for every single parent mom who works so hard on behalf of her children. We ask that you would remind many of those who, though they may not have physical children, they have the care for being amazing hope bringers so so many spiritual children they have been blessed to nurture through these years. God, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you that your heart is for us, that you are with us, and in all our journey, you need to do some pathways you are there for us. Thank you that you are sovereign over every part of our lives, O oh God. Thank you for the, your ways, that in your ways are perfect, and you make our footsteps secure. Today we pray for refreshing, for joy, for grace, for wisdom, and for great peace. To, for all moms, for moms to be, and for all women who nurture and lead. We ask this in the name of the God, our Lord God. Amen. to my colleagues of the Separa West Secondary School, we know how much you all do, even more than what is required from our jobs for, for their charges, even for the younger teachers on staff. This is a poem entitled, Thank You for Everything. Thanks, Mom, for being my root, just like that of a tree. When I am around you, I feel confident and proud to be me. You accept me just the way I am and love me unconditionally. You tell me when I'm wrong and show me the right path beautifully. I love you, dearest mother. Happy Mother's Day. I pray that the good Lord bless all of you with health and strength and longevity in this profession and you all have many more Mother's Day to come. I pray that Almighty God bless you all 
with good health and strength and prosperity that everything that you put your hands to it shall prosper in Jesus mighty name I wish you all the mothers of Sapphire West Secondary School a happy Mother's Day too bad I cannot sing if I, if I sang for you guys rain would fall even more but this is something small I can do for you all and I do hope I do a hope you all appreciate it that the men of the Separa West Secondary School really thinks a lot of the women of our school. May God bless you and have a blessed Mother's Day in Jesus' mighty name. Good morning to all female members of Separia West Secondary School. I will just briefly give you all a historical background of Mother's Day. Mother's Day was celebrated by most ancient civilization. Even the planet we live on today is popularly known as Mother's Earth. It cares for us and it sustains us and it is indeed our eternal provider just as the mothers in our midst mother's day as we know it today was dated back to the 19th century in the united states before their civil war 
Anna Reeves Jarvis of West Virginia started a Mother's Day work club to teach local women how to properly care for their children. In 1868, Ms. Jarvis promoted Mother's Friendship Day, at which mothers promoted reconciliation between former Union and Confederate soldiers. Another advocate, Julia Ward Howe, wrote the Mother's Day Proclamation in 1873 and campaigned for a Mother's Peace Day. However, the official Mother's Day came into effect in 1900 due to the efforts of Anna Jarvis, the daughter of Anna Reef Jarvis. In 1905, Anna Reese Jarvis died and her daughter conceived Mother's Day as a way of honoring the sacrifices mothers made for their children. Additionally, in May 1908, the first official Mother's Day took place at the Methodist Church in Grafton, West Virginia. Thousands attended the function. And this was the catalyst that encouraged Anna to start a campaign in the newspaper and she campaigned prominent politicians urging them to adopt a special day honoring motherhood even though she herself had no biological children. Her, persist her persistence became fruitful in 1914 when US President Woodruff Wilson signed the declaration officially establishing the second Sunday in May as Mother's Day. And so, in a nutshell, that's how we all today celebrate Mother's Day on the second Sunday in May. A bit of information though, it has been recorded that on Mother's Day, the most phone calls take place throughout the world. Again, it's showing the importance of mothers in our lives. And today, I'm just saying, let us keep Mother's Day simple. Let us keep Mother's Day safe and let's show our mothers, our wives, our sisters the love that we have for them. And I also urge you all, those of you all who still have your mothers with you, to simply cherish them. Cherish them as much as you can. And once again, to all mothers and female members at Separia West Secondary School, I am wishing you all a really special Happy Mother's Day. Do enjoy Sunday. Thank you very much. A mother's love. A mother's love is something that no one can explain. It is made of deep devotion and of sacrifice and pain. It is endless and unselfish and enduring come with me. For nothing can destroy it or take that love away. It is patient and forgiving when all others are forsaken. And it never feels or falters even though the heart is breaking. It believes beyond believing when the world around condemns and it grows with all the beauty of that rarest, brightest gem. It is far beyond defining. It defies all explanation and it still remains a secret that the mysteries of creation, a many splendor miracle, man cannot understand, and another wondrous evidence of God's tender guiding hand. Happy Mother's Day to you all. Hi ladies. Ladies, you all are somewhat magical. On behalf of my male colleagues and students, we want to wish you Happy Mother's Day. And our message to you all is be strong, courageous, and hopeful. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's me again. Uh, I would like to read a poem for everyone. 
The name of my poem is entitled Mothers Are Angels. There are times when only there are times when only a mother's love can understand our tears, can soothe our disappointments, and calm all our fears. There are times when only a mother's love can share the joy we feel when something we've dreamed about quite suddenly is real. There are times when only a mother's faith can help us on life's way and inspire in us the confidence we need from day to day. For a mother's heart and a mother's faith and a mother's steadfast love were fashioned by the angels and sent from God above. I hope you love, you love, like this poem and um, I like to take the opportunity to wish all mothers at our school and in the country a happy Mother's Day. God bless everyone. Hello everyone, fellow colleagues at Sipara West Secondary. I've been asked to do a small presentation for you guys, the mothers in particular, on recognizing Mother's Day coming this Sunday. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Videsh and I'll be doing a small presentation of the things that my mother taught me. I am here because of my mother and these are the things she taught me. Alright, so enjoy. The first thing, she taught me about religion. Okay? When she said, boy, you better pray that all that mess clean up before I reach home. Secondly, she taught me about logic. When she said, there's only one boss in this house. It's not you and it's not your father. Figure it out. She taught me about irony. When she said, keep crying and I will give you another reason to cry. She taught me about stamina. When she said, sit right there until all that food is done. She also taught me about patience. When she said, wait right there, wait right there, I come in just now, wait right there. She taught me about medicine. When she said, you mustn't take medicine for other people's sickness, eh? Up to now, I'm still trying to figure out what that meant, right? But I'm getting there. All right, so these are the persons I've been asked to wish um, uh, um, the new mothers on staff. Huh? Um, I would like to wish them a uh, happy Mother's Day. These are the names that was given to me. Okay, one is Miss Vindra Balak. Um, welcome and happy Mother's Day to you. The other one is Miss Beverly Duki Sijatan. Right, new mother. Um, also Miss Andrea Bullock. Um, okay, and um, Mr. Ashton Lala. Um, all right, um, these names, I'm not sure if it's the correct names. Uh, and also Miss Miss Nisha. Uh, okay, so these are the new mothers on staff. Um, happy Mother's Day to you all and please enjoy your day on Sunday and all through the year. We love you all.
told myself years ago You never let your feelings show The obligation that we made It is often said that paradise lies at the feet of your mother. Honor your mother. This is from several religious books that we follow. Ladies, we the men of Separia West Secondary School are happy for this opportunity, this special opportunity to let you know that you are special. Throughout all your trials and all your difficulties, you stand strong for us, the men of Safari West Secondary. Throughout all your sadness, you try to make us happy and you try to make us smile. Even when you are down, you try to help us to raise. For all the times you held the name of Safari West Secondary, above water while we were drowning, I thank you. For all the times you stood by our sides, the men that of Separiva Secondary, I thank you. I thank you for being the gift of God that you are. We, the 22 men of teaching and the seven men of public service, would be lost without you, the 66 women of teaching and the 14 women of public service. Thank you and have a joyous and a blessed Mother's Day from all the men of Saparia West Secondary School. <laughs>